In Power Apps, we use different kind of data source to store and retrieve our data. For example, SharePoint, Dataverse and SQL. Now, which is the most efficient and easy to use data source that we can connect in our Power Apps to build our application. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. So, in Power Apps, we can connect different types of data sources, which includes SharePoint, Dataverse and SQL. Now, first, if I talk about SQL, SQL is very much complicated as compared to our SharePoint and Dataverse because in SQL, you need to write queries. But on the other hand, if I talk about SharePoint or Dataverse, you don't need to write queries to create tables, columns, etc. Now, the question arises, which is the better data source to connect to our Power Apps? So, before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we will learn what's the major difference between our SharePoint and Dataverse as a data source. Second, we will create a project management application in our Power Apps with the help of Dataverse tables. Also, we will create a Power Automate flow in which we connect our Dataverse table to send email notifications. Now, the first thing that we have to talk about is what's the major difference between SharePoint and Dataverse. Why is Dataverse made when we already had SharePoint? The first difference between our SharePoint and Dataverse is that SharePoint is not very reliable in case of performance because it can give us performance issue. But on the other hand, our Dataverse is high in performance. The second difference is of the scalability of data. In case of larger data sets, our SharePoint cannot handle it and starts lagging. But on the other hand, Dataverse is much more efficient because it can handle millions of data. The third difference is of cost. In our basic Microsoft plan, SharePoint is free. But on the other hand, if you want to use Dataverse, you must purchase the Dataverse plan. Now we will create our project management system in our Power Apps with the help of Dataverse tables. So for that, so here in our Power Apps, I will go to tables. First, I will select new table, then I will select create new table i will select start from blank first i will name the table our first table will be clients now this will be our column and the column name will be client name which will be single line of text then i will add another column which will be client email this also will be single line of text and email and that's enough for the client table so in our custom we have our clients table which has columns client email and client name is our primary column now we need to create another table here i select create new table i will start from blank the table name will be projects and the first column i will name it project name which will be single line of text then i will simply click save so our projects table has been created we need to add some columns here we have our project name so i will add some more column which will be first will be our star date i will select the data type which will be date only and in the advanced options i will select date only then click on save similarly i will select end date i have created end date date time date only in the advanced option instead of time zone i am selecting date only then save now we need a relation between our two tables so i will go to my clients table and in our relationships i will create a new relationship which will be one to many then before setting i need to refresh my page again and I will select one to many relationship there. I will select my projects table. Sorry, it will be projects table. Lookup column name, I will name it client, then done. And here lookup column display name will be clients, then done. Here I will select projects, then done. So we have created our relation, which is one to many relationship with our table projects and column name is clients. Now, when I refresh my projects table, and in the existing column we have clients column which is lookup now i will simply first add a record in our clients table so here i am adding an email and here i am adding the client name let me add another then i will add the client name so here we have added two clients now if i go to my projects table i will refresh my projects table then i will add a sample record i will name it project a then i will select the start date which will be 23 then end date will be 27 then i will select my client here i have selected one client the second is not updated so i will add it again this is the email and this is our client name when now its data is saved if i refresh it then we have two clients here 
and our data is saved. So this is how we create tables and relationships in our Dataverse. Now let's create our application. So first I will go to create. I will select blank app and select create canvas. I will name the app project management then create. Here we have screen one. I will name it project management. Now I will simply display a gallery first. Here, here we need to add our table. So I will write projects. Here we have our projects. Now this is the layout. We will change our layout. This will be our project name and below will be our client dot client name. I will increase the font size. The first one I will give it a font size of 18. Next will be our client name 16. I will increase the size. Then I will drag the title. Now I will copy it paste. This will be our start date and similarly I will display my end date and between them I will add a label which will be a simple hyphen. Let me increase the size of our hyphen right here then like that. Now I will adjust my gallery here. Also we will take a rectangle and here I will add a label. The label text will be project management. I will add the font size which will be 21. Font color will be white and font weight will be bold also i will increase the size of our label now it's ready now if i preview it we can see it we can see our projects but we want to add and edit our projects here so for that we need an edit form now the data source i will select projects after that we need to drag our form here fields we only have projects should be above start date should be above end date and also we need our clients and done after that we will add a button here so i will write sorry i will just select button this will be our button let me drag it also i will drag my form a little below and i will take another rectangle i will reduce its size now i will add two icons first will be our add icon button size will be 55 and 55 color will be white then i will drag it right here now in the button action i will simply change that button text which will be submit and on select i will submit my form which will be form one and in our ad i will select new form form one now if we want to edit so in our form in the advanced properties we need to select the item its default mode will be edit so i will select gallery one dot selected now the record detail which is present in our gallery is being displayed here so to check that we will preview it and here now if i select the start date 24 and client i will change it and click on submit being updated but we want to show a notification so i will go to my form and in the on success i will write notify project saved successfully here notification type will be dot success and duration will be 1000 ms now if i again preview it now i will select add i will name it project a b c start date will be 26 and end date will be 31 then i will select the client and click on submit here our project is being added now this is how we can add edit and retrieve our records from our dataverse tables now how to send email notification to our clients a day before the project due date so as we have our project a that has due date 27 12 24 so we need to go to our power automate now in our power automate we will create a new automated cloud flow first i will skip then i will turn off the new designer this is our untitled so i will name our flow send project due reminder next i will select a trigger action which will be recurrence because i want our flow to run every day here i will select the schedule interval will be day then i will select the time zone in the start time I will select the time first i will select year then month then date then the time zone 15 colon 00 dot 000 then z i will select the hours that will be 10 at minutes 00 in the new step we need to select the dataverse action so i will select list rows then i will select our table which will be projects now in the filter rows I will select the column so we have our column end date why like sharepoint we cannot directly enter the end date because we need to select the table's logical name now to enter the column name we cannot directly enter the columns name like we use in sharepoint here in dataverse we need to go to our column and here in edit column we need to select our logical name which is end date in small so i will just copy it paste it here and write equal to i will select add days now we will write expression which will be format date time 
here i will select utc now then we will select our format which will be yyyy hyphen month date but we need the notification one day before the end date so here i will write a bracket then comma one and before that it will be add days then i will select ok and then i will select the new step in the new step we need the email so i will write list rows again list rows i will select the table this will be our clients table in the filter rows we need to select the id now to filter with the id we need to go to our clients table so i will go to my table clients then if i select clients here the logical name clients id is equal to our o data id then i will select send an email in the to section i will select the client email then in the subject i will write due and i will write project and date is tomorrow now in the body i will select the project name as a due date of then i will select end date please finish it then after that i will simply click save now if i go to my power apps and if i preview we have a record which has an end date 27 let me fix this this will be our this item dot end date so here we have our project a which has the end date 27 i will change the client with the email that i have then i will click submit now i will go to my power automate and test my flow here so i will select manually then i will select test and i will run my flow to check so here we have our error syntax error so let me fix it again in the list rows too instead of o data id which we have clients let me check again now if i test let me add value save so here our flow is running and this email has sent and we have gotten our email project a has a due date of 2024 12 27 please finish it now our flow has ran successfully and all the steps has been completed and flow has ran only one time because in our records we only have one project that has an date of tomorrow and if i go to my email now in our email we have gotten project a has a due date of 2024 please finish it so this is how we can send email so hope you have gotten the idea that which data source you can use to build your power apps application if you want to build an application that includes a huge amount of data you should choose dataverse but if you are building a small scale application sharepoint is very better so in this video we learned what's the main difference between our sharepoint and dataverse as a data source also we created project management application with the help of our dataverse tables and also we created a power automate flow in which we included the dataverse tables and implemented the filter queries to send the email notification thank you for choosing know how academy as your it source we are always there to help you navigate to the tech world it's been a pleasure sharing this information with you so stay curious and keep learning